Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I'm out having fun here today. Well, let's talk about number three in our tips for public land hunting and staying away from the crowds. Here's a really important concept that all public land hunters should learn. And I'm out of breath. I saw that shed over there and came rushing over here. One of the most important ways to get away from the crowds is to cross a barrier of some sort. Now, barriers could be a lot of different things. Barriers could be um, a steep bluff, difficult terrain, or anything that makes it difficult for people to cross, or most hunters don't want to cross it. Now, keep in mind that most public land hunters, especially the locals, just hunt weekends and evenings. And so they're going to be fairly close to the road. They're going to be in spots that are fairly easy to get, easy to get to. Um, so if you cross a barrier of some sort, it could put you in a position where there's very little pressure. Now that barrier, I'll tell you the number one barrier probably is water. And unfortunately, um, most public land hunters aren't willing to go through the extra trouble to go across even small amounts of water unless they can wade it with their regular boots. But if you bring a pair of hip boots or waders, it'll put you in some situations often where you, know, you just don't find a lot of other pressure. Uh, my buddy Scott Buckley has killed some really big bucks just by doing exactly this, by putting on hip boots or waders and going across some water. Um, so that's another barrier. Sometimes the water might be big enough, deep enough that you would want to use a kayak or a canoe or something like that to get across it. Um, I just did a story about a guy that killed a huge buck in the southeast and he did it by using a motorboat to go up a reservoir and uh, park alongside the reservoir. Killed a big buck right up a steep bank and uh, no other hunters around him. So those are those are some barriers now distance is also a barrier and that's probably one of the barriers that a lot of people just aren't willing to do the farther more than a mile the farther past a mile you get back into any public property uh, you're going to see less hunter if you combine barriers like water or a steep bluff or difficult terrain and distance then you find yourself in a position that if you're really willing to work at it you can get well beyond where most hunters go. A development that's happened here in the last few years is the huge increase in the number of people using these electric bikes. Now this Baku electric bike right here is a total game changer when it comes to getting way back into the distance. Oh, and especially when you get back in, say you're a mile and three quarters, two mile back in, I've killed deer like, you know, almost two miles from a parking area. And then you look at that deer and you go, how the heck am I going to get this thing out of here? Well, here's the answer right here. These bikes have changed everything and I'll be doing more videos on these bikes. I don't want to go into too much detail, but it really helps you get to areas where other people don't go. So keep in mind that sometimes getting away from the crowd is crossing a barrier of some sort, whether it's water, whether it's difficult to terrain, whether it's just the thought of how am I going to get a deer out of here or whether it's distance, those are all barriers that can impede public land hunters. So if you're willing to do the extra work, you can get to places where you don't see a lot of hunting pressure. So stay tuned. we got another video coming tomorrow.